In this video, I'm using per capita income case to do a log transformation of per capita income and see if we can use analysis of variance by squeezing the variances of the numbers after log transformation. First, let's see what happens to the graphs distribution of per capita income in macro regions. We start with a graph builder. Here we can do the transformation per capita income, right click from the pop-up menu, transform log. We can do lots of transformations here. Log transformation will create one additional column. This is a temporary column and will go away after we close this window. But if we use this again in another analysis, we need to save it. I'm right clicking on log transformed and add to data table. This column is added and now I'm using this as X and micro region to wrap and histograms. These histograms are much closer to normal distribution comparing to extremely right skewed distributions we had before. This is the first indication that the distributions of log transform data are close to normal, but there are some other tests we can do to determine if they are really normal. If you run the distribution for log transformed data, by macro region, drop macro region to this area, by. We have distributions of per capita income, the log transform data for all macro regions. I'm changing the orientations. Next step, we will fit a normal curve over the data. So fitted normal areas added, and then we can do a test for goodness of fit and see if that was a good fit. This is Shapiro-Wilk test, and we can see if the p-value of the test is small, that will reject the null hypothesis. And the null hypothesis says the data is from a normal distribution with p-value of about 3%. If our significance level is 1%, then this is larger than alpha. That means that it is from a normal distribution. We continue fitting normal curves over our samples of macro regions. Continuous fit normal, and then do goodness of fit test. As we can see, the second test comes out with p-value of 0.15. So we can consider this distribution as normal. Fit all these curves and test them. All these tests indicate that we can consider those normal fits a good fit. Of course, there are some considerations, like in North America, we have just three observations. Or in Oceania, we have just eight. So the first assumption of analysis of variance is almost met if you consider alpha level of 1%. Next step is looking at homogeneity of variances. Go back, set y by x, use log transformed data of per capita income as y, and macro region as x, and click OK. First test here is for unequal variances. These tests of unequal variances, the mean test still shows a significantly small p-value. Bartlett test shows close to 1%, a little more than 1% p-value. And the assumption of Bartlett test is that distribution is normal. Given all those normal distributions, we can use Bartlett test and make this assumption that the variances are equal. Not completely equal, but in one group, not significantly different. Under these assumptions, we can use analysis of variance. 
and using analysis of variance, there are significant differences between the means of macro regions. Of course, we need to reduce the size of the number by the light transformation, which makes distributions close to normal and equalizes variances to some extent. So we will be able to use analysis of variance rather than non-parametric test cross-colvallis.